Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, as we've been talking about a little bit on the channel, I've been contracted a lot more lately for documentary work. And uh, tomorrow, I'm actually leaving on a trip to Canada to film a documentary out there. I'm super excited about this. It's gonna take basically the course of the entire summer to film this thing. And in that, I've had to really, really like tighten up my gear and make sure that everything I bring on a trip like this is useful. So I wanted to today to quickly just go through uh, what I'm packing and how I'm packing everything for a travel documentary setup. So we won't dive into the cameras too much today, but basically um, I have a main like big rig for uh, long range. And uh, most of uh, the shooting I'm gonna be doing on this documentary is gonna be more telephoto. And so for that, um, I've got my camera, I've got the Canon 70 to 200, the Atomos Ninja 5, Zoom F3 to record with in 32-bit float, and the Sennheiser MKE 600. Um, and that's on this rig with a, with a small rig matte box, uh, follow focus, and uh, yeah. So this will be like my main kind of heavy rig, the best audio, the best lens, the longest range, all that stuff. My secondary camera is for more up close stuff when I'm you know, needing to be more in the action. This is kind of a smaller handheld rig. And for that, uh, I've got the, the Fujifilm X-T4. Both of these are shooting on Fujifilm. X-T4, a smaller matte box, the 16 to 55 Fujifilm lens, which is a great lens for video. Uh, I got a little handle on here, just a little Rode Video Micro, and then this is just like a basic monitor that's about 125 bucks on Amazon with a top handle. So this will be more close range to wide angle stuff. And then uh, as far as my actual camera bag goes, this is just a low pro camera bag. I like it because it's small. It was only 40 or 50 bucks or so at Best Buy. I've got my two uh, action cameras here. So I've got the Insta 361R and the DJI Osmo Action. What I'm doing is shooting a documentary about a paddleboarder who's crossing all five Great Lakes. And um, so these GoPros, I'm hoping to mount one on his paddleboard. Um, just anything that could be crazy that I wanna get cameras wet with I'm just using these action cameras for that. I've tried to really just narrow this down to make it really simple. Um, all my SD cards are here, labeled SD. I have AA batteries, that's for my Zoom H3 uh, audio recorder. I have some in-ear monitors, just for monitoring head uh, audio. I didn't want to bring giant headphones, so I just went with these little guys. Here is, uh, charging cables and bricks. So we're gonna be staying in a few different locations. Some of them have power, and so when I need to charge things when there's power, uh, I've got some USB-C cables as well as some just charging bricks. Lab number two, I have another lav and a case, but I'm actually recording on it for this video. So two labs, and they are both uh, Zoom F2 recorders. They, they record in 32-bit uh, float as well. Step rings to get to my mat boxes, to be able to put on filters, all that good stuff. AAA batteries, um, this is for the lav mics, they take AAAs. I have this portable light, just in case I need anything. Um, this thing is really bright, really cool. Uh, you can do all kinds of different colors. This is the Pixel G1S. Sigma 18 to 35 f 1.8 this is an awesome lens and it works really well adapted to fujifilm this is my fujifilm wide angle lens this is the 10 to 24 f4 just super wide if i need it to be this is another telephoto lens it's the fujifilm 50 to 230 xc uh, it's a cheaper lens but i really like the way it looks and it's really easy to just slap on my secondary b rig and have another telephoto at my disposal that's kind of quicker. And in here we have audio and video cables. This is HDMI cables, um, XLRs, just extras of everything for audio and video output. And then in this pouch, we've got this, which is just batteries for my action cameras, extra mounts for mics, GoPro mounts, tools, 
um, all that kind of good stuff. Just basically accessories go in here. And then on the front of the bag, in here I've got just an extra backup audio recorder, some checks since I'm going out of the country, in case things get crazy and I don't have cash and who knows. Filters, ND filters and stuff in here, as well as some um, slide-in filters for the matte boxes. Igloo cooler with snacks. This is my battery case. So um, I've got all my power stuff in here. There are chargers for the XT4 batteries that I use for the handheld rig. XT4 batteries in here. A bunch of Sony NFP batteries um, or NPF, a bunch of those chargers for them, uh, smaller versions of them, and then this is a giant charging brick, and it is ready to go at 100%. Next up, I've got a fanny pack, um, a lens pack in here where I can just carry an additional lens on the go, spoon and tool kit. This has a bunch of carabiners for if I want to mount anything on here, and then um, this is the, uh, the Garmin GPS map 66i, just in case, you know, I'm gonna be on a boat, and so in case I get thrown off the boat, I wanna be able to float with my life jacket and have my own GPS tracking system for a potential rescue team. In here, I've just got uh, another little external charging brick, a small rig uh, tool that has all my Allen wrenches, sizes that I would need and then some zip ties and whatever else I decide to add into a drip drop water bottle. That'll go around my waist as well. Just a backpack with all my clothes in it. I'm bringing a uh, newer tripod, just a basic tripod. It's really lightweight um, in case I need to film like an interview setup on the fly. A uh, microphone stand to run a boom mic for that interview setup. So uh, hopefully that was helpful to you guys. Um, and I remember like I shot my first documentary with just a little handheld rig and a Fujifilm XS10. And that's all I needed. And I just went for a day, just did all the shooting in one day and then did all the editing and research on the back end. And that's been, you know, good enough to get in some film festivals and stuff like that. Since then I've really uh, built out my gear as I've done more client work. And this will be my next um, big documentary project. And so with that, my gear has grown and hopefully the quality will have grown as well. Um, I try to balance between making sure I have big enough rigs that are heavy enough to not be jittery um, because I'm not, not a huge fan of IBIS or stabilization in post. Um, so I like to just have a bigger rig that's smooth. And so I try to balance having a big rig but also with just traveling light, especially for something like this. I'm gonna be on a boat for a few days, multiple times throughout the summer. Like, ideally I can take everything in like one or two loads, get it on the boat, and then just have my fanny pack with me with everything that I would need, kind of self-contained right there. In this trip, I'll have no bee shooters, so it'll be just me. For the other uh, trips for this documentary, I'll probably have some bee shooters, so that'll make things easier. But um, for me, yeah, this is my setup really simple. Um, stay tuned for the next few videos as I'm going to be vlogging while I'm on this documentary. And um, yeah, there'll be some just kind of, you know, vlog behind the scenes. What is it that we're doing kind of action. So if you enjoy that, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for those videos. They're coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this will give you some ideas for just a simple documentary setup that you can take on the fly with you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have any suggestions? Anything I use that you hate or love or uh, are you inspired by what I'm doing or do you absolutely hate it? <laughs> Let me know. Either way, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.